Hello, hello, welcome to Super Radish. Another pickups video, and this is still me catching up on pickups from a while ago, mostly some newer stuff. Um, in future, be, there'll be more variety as I catch up with how I my buying habits have changed recently. And just before I start, one pickup I've got behind me is Dan Maku Unlimited 3. What a game! It's eight quid on the eShop. If you like shmups, you want to get that. It is super awesome. It blew my little mind away. And um, yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm on my shmup journey now, my bullet hell journey, and I'm loving it. It's completely changed my kind of, uh, sort of my, my gaming habits, really. I'm just, I'm playing shmups every day, and I can't believe this part of gaming has just stayed away from me. And you know, I've played shmups, but all of a sudden it's just clicked. It's all clicked into place, you know, just just really just really weird but i'm loving it and um yeah definitely definitely gonna see a lot of shmups coming from me over the next year or two i'd imagine and going forward as well and switch is a really good place to get your shmups apparently because there's so many um and i've got lots of stuff coming from play asia etc because yeah there's a lot that are sort of only released in japan Anyway, pickups. So, start off with Xbox 360. Dead Island. Again. I've got Dead Island. I don't know why I bought this, and I don't know where I bought it, and it's in my pickups pile. Just there. I don't know. So, yeah, it's an RPG, first-person RPG, and, you know, it's okay. Nothing special. Um, bit buggy my sort of interest in games like this has, has pretty much disappeared now but nice to have it I might might be interested in playing it one day one of my two copies apparently and next up we have got Sacred 3 first edition I never played Sacred 1 or 2 but apparently I've got number 3 and again it looks like an RPG of some kind and it was a couple of quid so I thought be silly not to pick it up just in case it's it's okay um probably won't get around to playing that one and now we're on to a proper amazing game and that is skate and when we lost sort of tony hawks as a as a, an awesome franchise this came along and kind of took up the mantle of the skateboard game i love one two and three i love skateboarding games and this is amazing i need to get two and three because i sold them years and years ago like 10 years ago so i need to get them all back now and yeah i just love any extreme sports game it just just appeals to me i think it's just the sort of pick up and play with it and you know yeah just cool and next up is a game called turning point liberty fall of liberty and i don't know this looks this is a first person shooter that's as much as i know and that is cheap so it's probably Hot garbage, isn't it? But it's Codemasters. Codemasters did used to make some good good shooting maps back in the day. I don't know what they do now. I can't remember seeing a, a new Codemasters game. Maybe they've been bought out by someone, probably. And next up, another classic. I got the PS3 version, but I wanted the 360 version as well. That's the one I originally played back in the day. Platinum Games of Bayonetta. This is, I think, this is genuinely one of their best games if you've not played this you need to play it action third person game super super slick game pick it up it's only a couple of quid i think must have must buy that's all the 360 games okay so next up my one wii game another cheapy one i saw a galloway gaming glenn pick this up and i liked Cruising USA and stuff on the N64. And I'm guessing this is the same thing. Maybe not necessarily fully, but maybe more like a spirit spiritual successor. And, you know, I love arcade races. My son, he's four, nearly five. He loves racing games. And Sonic. 
much to my disappointment. Um, but yeah, much prefer Sonic over Mario, and he loves any racing game right up his street. So looking forward to playing that because we've been playing Cruising Blast on the Switch, and that is awesome as well. I think that was on one of my previous pickup videos. It's all Switch now, I'm afraid, guys, but Switch is good. Switch is really good. Has its problems, as does every console, but I picked this up, which is Endless Ocean Luminous. Now, I have played this, and you basically go diving and looking for fishies and other stuff, and it's okay. Again, I don't know, maybe I put this on a previous video, but it's, it's here again, it's still in my pickups pile. So yeah, it's it's a chill out, relaxing game. It's nothing, nothing to shout about, but it's good. It's good. It's, yeah, slower paced game. Um, now a real cracker is this Batsugun Saturn Tribute. Um, one of my first shmups that I picked up after getting obsessed um, from pray, pray, playing Crimson Clover on the on the pc and i saw this and i thought i have to have it it looks awesome and it's fucking hard as well isn't it super hard uh, japanese import on this one i think it's the only way you can get it unless you bought it on limited run but it's it's not that expensive not that expensive at all another japanese import snufkin so i think it's magic melody finish this one i love moomins yeah, when I was a kid, I used to love it. I was obsessed with Moomins. And this is good. It's like a little puzzle, sort of cosy game. It's really good. It's short, about five hours long. But I did enjoy it. Next up, GameCube Classic, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. I love this on the Cube. I remember getting this for Christmas one year. And yeah, just, just loved it. And uh, yeah, just had to get it. Because I haven't got the GameCube version anymore and it's too expensive. It's too expensive for me. But this one, I think I got this for 32 quid. Not bad at all. Well worth a go. Next up. A franchise I've only recently got into. I say recently, in the last month or two. And it's kind of, it took over my world for a while. And this is Attack on Titan 2, the game. So there is two versions of this for the Switch. There's the other one, which has basically got the DLC. Should have got that one, but it is quite hard to find. It is quite pricey, so I stuck with this one because I can always download the DLC. It's not ideal. I like to have everything on the cart if I can, all physical, as it were. So maybe I'll get that eventually. Attack on Titan is an anime, if you don't know, and it is fucking awesome. It's, yeah, it's... I'm not a massive anime guy. Not at all, really. But I might be now after watching that. It's converted me. Full-on converted me. So good. And the game is really good as well. Started that. And next up, an absolute classic. Okami HD for the Switch. This is from PlayAsia as well. Um, I got it for the Wii. And I had to, had to have it for the Switch. Because it's such a good game. And play it portable. It's just, no, it just got, yeah. Absolutely. If you've not played Okami, and you have a soul... You should play this. You can get on PS2 as well, I believe. And probably other formats. It's probably been out on everything. It's probably on Steam and PC. And next up is El Shaddai. I think that's how you say it. I don't know what this is. The Ascension of the Metatron. Don't know what a Metatron is. Something to do with g -bus or something like that. But again, I don't know this. I know this came out on the Xbox 360. Um, you can get this on Limited Run. I think that might have ended. Or you can do what I did, which is get it from Play Asia. It's got English and it's cheaper that way. I don't have, have to fuck about. So yeah, get that now. Next up, 3DS Classic. Ready for Halloween. Luigi's Mansion 2. Love this on the date on 3DS. My favourite is still number one. Number three is pretty good. Um I'm gonna give this another go. Because I would say it's the weakest of the three, but I could be wrong. So going back to it would be great. And with that, because I pre-ordered that, I got this, which is, drumroll, oh, well you can see that I've got reflections all over the shop. Basically, yeah, a diorama thing. Let's get it out. I've not actually got had a proper look at this. I've had this for a while. But that's pretty cool, isn't it? A little ghost in there, the dog. 
dog even <laughs> and Luigi that's cool keep it in the box for now because this is the exact sort of thing that my son loves to piss about with so yeah let's put you down there safe and sound next up we're making our way through that pile quite well quicker than I thought Nintendo World Championship NES edition it's actually a good game. Speedrunning, if you like that sort of stuff. I mean, I'm not necessarily a speedrunner. I'm enjoying this. It's just, you know, pick up and play. Have a good laugh. And everybody in the dog who's got a Switch pretty much picked up the, you know, the this, didn't they? And everyone put pictures on the internet and stuff. Yeah, well, I got it, yeah, too. But it is good. It's a good game. I'm happy to have it. It's going to look nice on the shelf, isn't it? With a little gold... Gold cart. Love it. I think I got it quite cheap. Pre-ordered it. Oh no. I think, yeah, you could only get it from Nintendo. I probably didn't get it cheap. Probably got it for the same price as every other fucker. Unless you sort of bought it off a scalper. Scalpers are bad. We don't like scalpers. Next up, I'm not sure if I ever showed this. I've def I think I've shown it on Instagram. This is Crown Trick and it's like a sexy edition. But I bought this solely off that box art because it looks amazing. And it was cheap on eBay. It must have been a reseller just getting rid of stock or something. But that is amazing and lovely. It could be the shittest game in the world for all I know. But I like the box. And it looked nice on the shelf. And that's all that matters sometimes. Because I've got plenty of games to play. So sometimes it's nice to have something that looks good on the shelf. I don't know. I'm going to give it a go one day. I promise. Getting close to the end. This is the last game. And then it's controller. And then we're done. And this is... My time at Sandcock. It is Sandrock, but if you look at the blue, it looks like Sandcock, doesn't it? But I think they fucked up there. Big time. So my time at Sandcock, collector's edition. It's still on Amazon for dirt cheap. I'll open it up. We'll have a look what's inside. Because I didn't look. I just bought it because it was a big box. It was a big, biggish box. And it was cheap. I do that sometimes. Impulsive, some might say. So, let's have a look. What's in here? Try not to ruin the fucking box. That would be a right twatish thing to do. Uh, there we go. Oh, fucking loads of goodies in here. First of all, we have the game. My time at Sandcock. Never get enough of that. Some a little book that's sealed. I might leave that sealed. Logan. A Logan story. Whoever Logan is, no idea. I played my time. Is the the first game was my time at Porsche, but I call it Portia because it sounds less shit. Because Porsche, I just don't. Know. What in the fuck is that? Wooden Sandcock Workshop. Oh, you build a little wooden house. How cool is that? I love that. Look at that. Fucking, that's amazing. Never seen that in a um, special edition before. They probably have done it. That is fucking lovely. A little wooden standees to go with it. Fucking, that is, that is I'm, I'm very, really this impressed. But, you know, special editions sometimes disappoint. This fucking hasn't. I've got a fucking letter. Who's it from? I've got a fucking builder's license, guys. i got a builder's license for my wooden house. <laughs> Genuinely, the inner child in me is loving this. I'm going to have to build that. Um, we're, not, we're not done. There's more. Okay, the last thing, and that is... A fucking... It's like a husky. I'm guessing you have that in the game. It's like a little... Plush, my. It's like a, it's like a. Fucking husky, penguin. I don't know what the hell that is, but yeah, that's that's great. Love that. I think the game's supposed to be quite good as well. I think it's well thought of. And last thing, I have to juggle a few things here, and then we're done, dudes. This fucking glorious thing here is a Pikmin controller. It is fucking lush, and I had to get it. 
I won't open it because I'll probably ruin the box. But if you look, it's got a little Pikmin in the cat in the in the in the plastic, which you know some might not be too excited about. I am. I love Pikmin. Pikmin's a fantastic franchise and way underrated, I reckon. Yeah, I had a bit of a disaster. I ran out of fucking battery on my laptop right at the end. So yeah, so yeah, Pikmin. That Pikmin controller. I think it was about 45 quid. Now, it's a little bit expensive for a, an official control pad in my eyes, but that wow, looks so fucking amazing. I just had to buy it, and it, it, it is, it, yeah, this is, I think I'll see, keep it sealed, because it's something that's going to get ruined, isn't it? And, you know, maybe one day I'll, I'll get it out, but for now, it can stay happily in its box, and, you know, yeah, what? That's a lot of shit, isn't it? A lot of stuff. So going forward, um, I'll be going to go more retro, I think, again. Um, just because uh, I'm just not interested in newer stuff these days. I've actually got to that point. I think a lot of people do, don't they, when they collect games. You just can't be asked. Uh, I, I've got no interest in the Series X. I've got no interest in the PS5 at the moment. There's a handful of games that I'd like. But I'm happy to wait for a number of years. Grab it when it's you know sort of cheap and um yeah i'd rather I, to be honest i'd rather a ps4 than i would a ps5 just because there's a lot more games on ps4 i used to have a ps4 sold it because it sounded like a fucking jet and yeah and that's it so number one get dan Mako and limited three because it is amazing yeah i think my recording balls up there yeah dan Mako and limited three get that get yourself my time at sancock at amazon I think it's still 35 quid and yeah honestly if you're a switch collector start just look at play asia i promise you there's a lot of shit there that's multi-language all region free it's well worth looking into and um yeah that's it thanks guys so see you again stay awesome love you bye